What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing a self portrait tutorial in a sci-fi kind of style where there's going to be a slit of light going across my eyes and I'm going to be using this contraption, this <laughs> <laughs> my $10 mirror taped off with black tape to create this slit effect. You know how we do here? We're on the cheap, but we're gonna make the photos look like a million dollars. For this setup, I've got two lights going on. I have the Amaran 100D with an Octo box over here on my left back side. Took off the front diffuser and it's gonna give me hard light. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I have a flash up there where I'm gonna use my mirror to reflect the flash shooting onto that to give me that slit effect on my eyes. That's gonna look super cool. And because that's hard light, we gotta balance it out with some more hard light. They are roughly in the same position on the plane and it should look pretty darn cool. That is the Godox V350F, the little baby flash. It's only at 1 32nd of a power, but it should give us enough power to do the effect that I'm looking for. And since it's a cooler kind of sci-fi kind of look, I got the black jacket on. I'm gonna pop the collar. I'm gonna look cool. You know we gotta look cool! Shooting today, I'm using my Fujifilm XC4 with the 56 millimeter. It's gonna be basically just a face shot self-portrait. With all this set up here, we should be able to do something cool. So let's get this started. All right. All right, so what I gotta do to pull this off is I gotta hit the Fujifilm 10 second timer. Then I have to put the mirror up and hold it in the exact correct position to where it's looking at the flash and will be able to reflect back onto my eyes. And I also have to take my glasses off to do all this because you know, it's gonna be a glassless list glassless, <laughs> glassesless shoot. And we have to hope that the Fuji gods will get the eye out of focus correct for all this to work out. Let's look good here. Framing myself up for the shot and we're gonna try our first shot here. So I'm gonna click that and eye out of focus. Awesome feature about Fujifilm cameras is it will focus at the end of the timer. So that is what helps make this look good. I'm just trying to get in the middle right here and get this flash. And we got our first shot, that is looking good. But I gotta aim this correctly so it looks more centered and correct on my face. But that is the effect we're going for. It's pretty equal light on both left and right side. There is gonna be some differences. We can't get it too perfect. So the idea here is I'm looking at this the whole time and then right before it takes the picture, look at the camera. Close, get that flash. Look at the camera. Okay. Almost, that one's a, a little crooked. All right, let's do this again. I gotta look cool, you know? Okay, I gotta aim, aim it up a bit. Oh yeah, that looks cool. That is looking cool. Let me pull it up over here so it's more centered. Ooh! Wanna raise it up a bit. That one, I kind of pull my chin down a bit to look, you know, more domineering. All right, keep taking shots and we'll find our keeper. I'm sure there's a couple keepers there, but you know, let's get some more variation. I'm gonna look like, I'm gonna look cool here, menacing. Oh! All right, let's do this again. Let me try to put the mirror here. Let me see how that looks like it up here. Maybe be more even on my eyes. Oh yeah, there we go. That is a lot more even before it was kind of more right side balanced. So yeah, let's put it right here, just out of frame. Oh, that slit of light, it's kind of low. I gotta get it correct, more centered. Maybe I need to push it up a bit more. Oh, <laughs> this is looking cool. I can't wait to look at these on the computer. Oh, baby. I'm trying to look at the camera straight on. Oh my God. This is exactly what I was going for. This is exactly what I want. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's try to get centered in the frame right here. Oh, oh my goodness. This is gonna look so cool. I can't wait to look at these on the computer. Looks like Fujifilm Eye Autofocus is in fact working. 
All right, let me, let me try to get the mirror a little bit closer, see what that effect does. Oh, that is, oh, that is getting deep, bro. I don't want it to be so close because it gets a little too direct, but let's just try it. Oh, we need to go. I need, I need to aim it up a little higher to aim a little blow. It looks like it's in the middle when I look at it in the mirror. And then it looks like it always needs to go higher. No, it looks like it's being blocked a bit. It needs to be a little farther away. Let me try to push my hand out all the way. I can hold my hand up. Oh, goodness. It's shaky. <laughs> Softer. Yeah, more of like a medium works best, like medium length. Mmm. I'm, I'm loving this. I am absolutely adoring this. Oh, let's do uh, a couple more. Yeah. Uh, this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the hawk eyes. Squinty eyes, like I'm squ <laughs> No, I look too squinty there. Too squinty. <laughs> ah, just missed it right there. Damn. I need to really look at that flash the entire time, just right before it takes a photo to get this right. Ah, a little too low, a little too low. No, a little too far away. Let me get it closer to my face. Oh, we're getting the light from the other, from the continuous light. I don't want to blind myself. That is cool. Actually, I'm going to do it from just one side. Like, let me, I'm going to do a hard right. Just have it on the right side of my face. I want to see how that looks. Oh, that is kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Wait, I want to do a more hard right. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. I want to get that. I need to get it straighter on my face. Oh, oh it needs to be a little higher. Touch higher. This one man band over here trying to make this happen. I don't need no assistant. I got the timer. That is freaking cool. I hope you have enjoyed me using this mirror to do some cool sci-fi, cool looking shots and stuff. Thanks for watching.